Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email us tmasso at the 1916company.com for purchase and pricing details. Today, something extraordinarily rare, even by the standard of a company that makes fewer than 400 watches per year. From Debitune, this is the DB25 Starivarius Fully Gem Set. So jewelry watches at Debitune are rare even by their standards, with perhaps no more than a dozen or two made every year, and sometimes considerably less. They tend to be produced on request, no real stock is kept. This, however, is a pre-owned watch, so it's available now in rose gold, 42 millimeters in diameter, 10.3 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip, 49.8 millimeters with a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Throw it on my wrist right here. My wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference. Here's your down the barrel angle. Here's your cuff shot. It'll easily slide underneath the sleeve. Here's your over the top. I can recommend it for a wrist as small as 15 centimeters circumference. The watch features a medium rectangular scale alligator leather strap in medium blue, semi-gloss finish. You can see it features a sheer cut side lacquered for refinement. On the bottom, small round scale alligator leather. It's used on the better straps, or I should say the best straps these days. With the gator on both sides, the strap's more expensive, but it lasts longer. No crimping or gouging. This is a brand new Debitune factory strap. We have a pin buckle in rose gold. And at Debitune, the buckles tend to match the lug profiles. And here you can see we have fixed lugs. No floating lugs, none of that that you see on the DB28 and the 27. These are, however, buttress-like airy, open, and prismatic, and you can see the gem setting is extraordinary. Setting gems on tiny, irregularly shaped surfaces is one of the greatest challenges in the gem setter's trade, and you can see how not only have they been set, but they've been set in ascending order of size where the surface necessitates. 273 diamonds here, 1.33 carats, it is diamond paved. We have Debatoon's traditional unbranded crown, a nod to vintage watchmaking, when crowns generally would be unbranded. The Ogival bullet tip of the lug, you can see here gem set. The last styling vestige of the original DB1 chronograph, the company's first product from 2002. It actually has more definition, and it seems a little bit more imposing and striking than the standard watch. The diamonds add richness, and you can see how perfectly they're set unerringly equal on the bezel. In color, clarity, and carrots, there's no gradient or variation from gem to gem. Debitune does its own gem setting, but it also makes its own dials, cases, and movements, and so that's exactly what we have right here. The center dial disc, a mirror-polished piece of grade 5 titanium, fired to turn it blue, the distant celestial bodies are gold leaf, and then the larger near stars, those are little globes of white gold inserted into the dial. In this case, they are, by default, set to the sky over Lauberson, the hometown of De Betune, on the night in 2002 when the company was founded. But this starscape is actually customizable for location and time frame. We have lovely rose gold breguet style hands. De Betune makes their hands. You can see on the back we have a movement. Now, this is a manual wine with a six-day power reserve. You're looking at the caliber 2005 twin barrel self-adjusting or dynamometric, which means you cannot overwind this manual wind watch. The twin self-adjusting barrels are patented. So is the triple parachute shock protection, where we have one, two, three shock protection springs. It's there to prevent damage, but also to improve chronometry. You can see its bridge has been rounded and mirror polished all the way around. This is the level of finishing you would expect from, say, a Grubel 4C or a Ferdinand barrel. Too, but F. Pigeon does not quite reach these high highs. Romain Gautier, Laurent Ferrier, Debatune, they are among the small group of companies keeping pace with the highest of the high in finishing. We have that rounded polished surface. It's easy to do polish on a flat surface, but when you've got a rounded profile like this, especially something small with little knuckles at the ends, this is very difficult to do. And again, I only think there are probably five, six, seven companies in the world that would finish a part like that 
We have Côte de Batune or Côte de Genève that are mirrored from side to side. A mirror polished center acting as an anchor for the fire blue triple parachute springs. The balance is fired blue titanium with white gold masses. This is the 2016 patent balance. Denis Flageolet, the watchmaking lead and co-founder of the company, creates a new balance every time he finds a way to maximize the percentage of total mass in the rim, optimize the reactivity to temperature changes, and also to reduce the impact of aerodynamic drag on timing. This is the latest and greatest in that regard. There's also a silicon escape wheel of his own design to reduce friction. We have mirrored beveling here. You can see overlapping bridges. It's actually two that are stacked up, and each one has a beveled edge. There's snailing on the barrels. There's micro beveling. I don't know how you can see it here on the ratchet wheel. Just take my advice. Trust me, it's there. Black polished screw heads with chamfered slots and circumference and a media blasted base plate with a rose gold nameplate, all with a four hertz beat rate, pivots on 27 joules in a 30 meter water resistant case. Reach out to Team Asa with the 1916company.com for purchase and pricing details of this extreme rarity.